organizations were all about technicians and technical specialists working in silos. But it did not take long to realize that a new discipline is needed. A function is needed which could coordinate the activities of all the departments, say finance, marketing, operations, and enable the organization to work as a cohesive unit. A discipline which would be entrusted with recruitment of employees, retention of employees and development of employees. And in this way, human resource management as a discipline came into being. And since then, human resource management has come a very long way. And it would not be wrong to say that in today's competitive environment, human resource management has become the most important discipline for a company. How would marketing function? How would finance function? How would operations function if the people were not there? If the people could not be retained? Or if the people could not be trained or developed to their potential? And all this is done only by the human resource management discipline. We at IMD Ghaziabad have taken this importance of human resource management as a discipline into account in deciding that the human resource symposium would be after the finance symposium, marketing symposium and operations symposium. So that all of us can realize the importance of human resource management on the basis of the importances of the marketing, finance, operations and other functions and disciplines. There is another reason. Our placement process is about to commence and we believe that the HR symposium would be the perfect omen for the start of our placement process. In that regard, we would be gifting a copy of our placement brochure which was unveiled in the morning session to our esteemed guest Mr. Anil Sethi as well. May I request a member of the placement committee to present a copy of the brochure? Thank you. And I wish you all the luck for your placements. Uh, Thank you. Can I open it? Yeah. Yes. You know, I wish I could take all of you back. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we'd be more than happy to come along. <laughs> when I sit out of the office, you can go in. <laughs> Ready for responsibility. So this is for the executive, isn't it? Yes. 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 <laughs> Just mail me a PDF. Thank you. Good. Thank you, sir. I also request Captain to present Mr. Sanan Sethi with a bouquet. not with a bouquet, you presented to me with flowers. <laughs> Even if it was one flower or a bouquet, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you so much. Means, uh, when you said uh, HCL has patented it huh? in several countries, huh? sir, uh, what I understand is in, uh, almost all of the organizations, huh? when we go to HR, you know, they are big billboards over there, it's written, employees are our biggest assets. So, sir, What's the difference between what HCL has done means, what do you mean when you call it patent? Because all organizations are, uh, most of like, they say the same I thing. I'll try to answer it. It's not patent, I mean, in the sense, uh, as, as an HR initiative, we have tried to put a patent around it, okay? That only we can use this, uh, these words, okay? That's what we have done. That's what, if, if, if you call it a patent or use some other word for it, whatever. So, uh, in fact, now there is, a, you know, because uh, there is another version of the book which is coming out now. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, now subsequent because this was written about four years ago <coughs> and uh, we've done enough. So, and your next question was that um, wherever you go in HR, employees first, employees first. Yeah, that is, that is true. I mean, uh, but no one has the guts to say customer second. Okay. okay? And then go on to explain it actually. Yeah, when we first launched the book, yeah, it was launched globally. Yeah, some of the customers were really furious. What do you mean actually? Especially American companies, Boeing and uh, you know. But then when they realized, 
the value zone concept and how we are putting employees over there to create value, etc. Uh, and in fact, uh, Southwest Asian Airlines was a big uh, customer for us. Uh, it's the most innovative company. You must have read a case study yes, sir. on yes, sir. HW. So they called us over, our previous CLO, Anand Pillai. He went there and he spent three days in uh, convincing them first, one day, and then two days in training them on this concept. So that's what happened. Yeah. Customers, you know, the whole management theory says customer is important, customer here, customer says up to he is reversed through. So that's the idea. Yes. So my question is again around the same concept. Uh, what I want to understand how it's driving engagement for you, employee engagement basically. You know, it is not uh, we have clarified that confusion. Employee engagement is a separate department or a domain in its HR and it has nothing to do with employee first customer service. So this, this confusion, as I said, existed. It has nothing to do with employee engagement. Nothing to do with salaries coming on time. It has nothing to do with you know, cabs coming on time or food coming on time or etc. So that employee engagement is absolutely <coughs> there is no link between this employee first customer service and employee engagement. Salaried employees, <laughs> you know, 
I think company they have a bench actually. <laughs> uh, I don't know where this word came from bench, who invented this. It's a very wrong word. Uh, talent pool. Uh, unproductive talent pool. <laughs> For no fault of theirs actually. So that's a huge challenge. Uh, we have a whole department which is responsible for that in HCL. Uh, there are whatever. And it uh, reports to HR only. And uh, they, they, their uh, only job is to engage them and find slots for them in whichever you know domains. But we have we have a lot of gaps still, I mean I would admit. Uh, but it's a very structured, it's a very robust, I mean, they are the ones who keep working till 9 p.m. every day. They sit in my floor and uh, through numbers and, you know, how to place them where, etc. It's a very tough task. And sometimes uh, a bench resource, uh, you know, goes through 20 <coughs> interviews internal, still doesn't find a slot. And uh, they have a three-month window only in which they have to find a slot or in which we have to find a slot for them, whatever. So it's a big challenge. But we try to engage them. Uh, they are available uh, on our portal uh, and with their skill sets also. And uh, whichever uh, team, you know, some work, extra work comes from a client, etc. And if I need an Oracle expert or an SAP expert, so I look at the talent pool and try and pick you, uh, God forbid you are on bench, supposing you are on bench, so I will pick you and uh, engage you for 7 days, 8 days or whatever, because you are on salary, yes. 3 months you are on salary, okay. <coughs> and uh, so we will engage you and then release you after 7 days, job, thing or job, back to the bench <coughs> or whatever. So this is how they are engaged and of course they upskill themselves on training. They are pushed to attend a lot of trainings, okay. internal trainings. Because HCL does a lot of internal training. We, we, we high end training the house. Otherwise, we do it internally. Yeah, one more hand. <coughs> Your name? I'm Abhishek Sharma. Abhishek. Why are you not Abhishek Bachchan? Okay. Okay, Abhishek, tell me. As a part of your methodology, the route to the top, basically. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what I feel like is majorly uh, as a part of a service industry. Yes. How would you incorporate the same in you know, a product industry or something? For that place? Is it like, I mean, because I don't know. Uh, ask her this question. Uh, you know, product <coughs> industry, uh, I work in a lot of product industries, and this is my first IT industry. Uh, HR uh, is still possible. I mean, uh, you know, employee engagement initiatives, diversity initiatives, uh, L&D initiatives are very easily uh, easy to duplicate. I think it's only uh, it has to come from the top leadership. You know, most of the initiatives in a product industry, uh, it should be easier actually. Don't you think so? Because uh, Service industry, a lot of ifs and buts are there. You know, uh, uh, you know, selling service is different and uh, sustained uh, customer service and service is very different. Product may thoda different hoga, but most of the HR initiatives can be duplicated, I'm sure.